rats have decidedly a different notion of comfort. This big modern art museum in the center of the city. And that's me. And apparently there was a rave in the underground. Pretty neat. This is the food market. It's a uh, market that usually once in a month but sometimes a bit more frequently in my neighborhood and basically it's like a farmers market but uh, instead of farmers it's like restaurants who make samples of their specialties and it's a really nice moment I try to go there on each and every occasion that I can, it's always delicious. You get cuisines from all around the world, and it's cheap, so recipe for success, pun intended. It's usually very successful and very crowded, but uh, there I was really early, there were still setting up shops, so uh, that's why there are not a lot of people. But believe me, one hour later, it's more crowded than a gangbang. What's in my hand is some kind of modern poutine with steak and chives and onions and it was average. Not really the best poutine I've had in my life. And this is, I don't remember, I don't remember what this was. There was one baked thing with um, cheese in it and one fried thing with uh, beef in it. And it was nice, especially the cheesy one. Look at that cheese, that's the good stuff. And that's the beefy one. And then that's uh, my dessert. You had a really great carrot cake from Venezuela. I don't know what's special about this recipe, but it was really great. And for refreshment, that was a soup with uh, cantaloupe and basil. And on my way home, I saw a shoe with a really amusing name. I don't know the brand make me laugh out loud for some reason. Then still on my way home, I was thirsty, so I grabbed a beer in a cool bar with a cool decoration. Kinda looks like my house, actually. 
but more green. And look at that, they even had a garden! That's pretty amazing to have a garden in the city. It's green! That's badass. Now here's me trying to put the sunshine, the sunset, in my beer. Does that look cool or am I being dorky? Again. Vote in the comments. Tell me what you think. It looks kind of cool, but maybe that's just me. It looks kind of like liquidized gold. I don't know, I like beer. 34 degrees is a bit too hot for 8 p.m. I love summer, but... And that's me back at the cheese store! Um, talked about the cheese store earlier, but didn't have the occasion to film inside it because it was too crowded. But uh, this was uh, close to closing time, so not a lot of people inside. I'm very lucky because the best cheese store in my neighborhood is also the closest to my home. So just because of that I feel very lucky. It's an important thing to have in life, a good cheese store next to your home. And this one is really great. Bookstore cat, I guess. I guess that's the thing. And also there was a paper shop next door that had amazing 3D Postcards. This is one of my favorite Mexican joints in the hood. El guacamole. This is horchata de arroz. It's like rice milk, very fresh. And this is a big burrito with uh, carne asada, that's steak. And of course, the hottest sauce I ever tasted. But really good. Vagina Gorilla. Is that the name of a porn movie or some feminism activist group? Hey, maybe it's both. Now that I think of it, maybe it was just a band. Sounds like a punk band. That's the canal that is near my house. You're gonna see this canal a lot in my vlogs because it's really near where I live and I'm there often. That's the canal. There's a lot of ducks on this canal. I love ducks. There was a sale on peaches at my local supermarket, so I bought uh, two pounds of those. Those are flat peaches, also known as Saturn peaches, and they are amazing. They taste, they taste so good. They are my favorite kind of peaches. I don't know if you've heard of them or if you have them in your country, but if you do try them, they are 
amazing. There's a new McDonald's that is specialized in club sandwiches. It's uh, one of these experimental McDonald's that you find now. We didn't take a club sandwich because it was ludicrously expensive. But uh, we had some uh, brunch, because I, I think it was a Sunday. Seriously, who does their makeup in a McDonald's? Tacky or smart? Also vote in comments. Give your opinion. There was one really cool thing though in this McDonald's. It's a USB outlet to charge your electronic devices. That's really a nice touch, and that's my food. Bake on an egg McMuffin forever, and that's a mocha. Mocha and pancakes. I don't even know if we did it intentionally. Macaron mm -hmm. President. This horrible thing is called the Stravinsky Fountain. I think that if Stravinsky saw this, he would roll over in his grave. And there's a really nice church behind. It's an interesting... Uh, it's an interesting place. I was back at this uh, modern art museum because uh, my uh, now ex-girlfriend worked there uh, all summer. So uh, I was there uh, quite often. Uh, it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool uh, museum that was uh, made. I mean, he didn't make it himself, but it was made by a man called Georges Pompidou, which is basically the French Ronald Reagan. You see his uh, portrait in the hexagon. Expensive glasses. <laughs> Very expensive glasses. <laughs> They're funny. Oh my. Inside the museum, they have this kind of quirk shop, but it's not really a quirk shop because everything is really expensive. It's like a modern art quirk shop. That's. That's for tourists, I guess, and hipsters. I mean, they had some nice stuff. If you saw the music video for my uh, song, Weaponized Autism, you saw uh, that snow globe with a banana in it. It comes from there. Remember fidget spinners? Man, that was crazy. I should have bought one of these. Very expensive rubber band bowl. I shouldn't have done that. I jinxed it. Because of that, the winter was very cold and we had lots of snow. We don't usually have snow in here in Paris. It's actually quite rare, but man, this winter was brutal. And also there were these vases. That, that freaked me out. Those were rubber vases, but they were like hundreds. They, they cost hundreds. And they're apparently they're very artistic or whatever. This was my favorite thing. The, I don't know what's buoy in the same shape of a cactus. And he's here is one of the oldest buildings in the whole city. In the Rue Volta, named in honor of Alessandro Volta, who invented the electric battery, which whom we owe most of our modern lifestyle. That building was built like in the early 17th century, it's crazy. Beauty will save the world, Dostoevsky. Man.
maybe. You can always, you can always hope. The Winter Circus. <laughs> kind of ironic, given that we're in the middle of the summer and that it's hot as fuck. Seriously. It's hot as balls. We were on some sort of treasure hunt thing organized by the city, but we were a bit late, so it was almost ended. We had some fun, but... Yeah, that was a very shreggable experience. Oh, and look, they had gardens too here. It's tiny garden galore. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen, but, but Jesus. That's a courtyard. That's my buddy. We got bored of the treasure hunt, so we went to an exotic restaurant that served uh, foreign food from uh, the other side of the world. It was a refreshing experience, really interesting. They had lots of uh, imported goods from uh, the America. Very exotic. You don't you don't see a lot of this usually. You don't need to travel anymore. You can discover foreign cultures just by walking in restaurants now. What a time to be alive. But seriously, I love exotic food. Mac and cheese. Strawberry chocolate donuts. Chili dog with onions and whatever. Hot dog with cheese and potatoes and cool stuff. Cool stuff, really cool stuff. Well, let's dive in. Let's get right into the food. It's not cool, it's awesome. <laughs> awesome stuff. And uh, to end. When I was going back home, I went to a thrift store and there was the usual wall of guitars in the music department and right in the middle of the guitars, I saw a musical so. It's the first time I see one in real life. I, I was freaking out. It was... I almost bought it. It's some crazy shit. That's all for today. Thanks for tuning in.